Today's sponsor is VincentChristopher.com. Welcome back, everybody, to episode two, The Coast Guard Strikes Back. Before I began making videos, I had a life as a graduate architecture student. And for our final project, we'd work with the United States Coast Guard. In architecture, it's customary to do site visits before designing for a place. In this case, Port Charleston for the Coast Guard. Before thinking about what could be designed, we'd have a look at the local buildings, and the shipyard itself. The site we worked on has the soil equivalent of Shrek Swamp. Here you can see the pier wall collapsed into nothing. The loamy soil is equivalent to a fluid and in real life would be very difficult to build on. For this voyage, I would enlist the Fujifilm Class W and the X100V. That's me, aft of the crew, just looking for some good vistas. After hanging back for a second, I found some leading lines and I tried to make some interesting compositions. In my portfolio work, I place a lot of emphasis on not having people in the photos. This preserves the integrity of the visual landscape, which is why I chose these focal lengths. And it provides a quality of stillness, which I happen to really like. Despite having been in the Navy, I can never really get used to the enormity of a ship. They always seem like something that's so big it shouldn't move, and it certainly shouldn't float. I change the aspect ratio on the X100V. I tend to use the one to one aspect ratio with the 24 grid frame lines. This allows me to get the most options while framing on the fly. You can also use the 24 grid frame lines with the 16 by nine and the three two aspect ratio within the X100V. These two images strike an interesting contrast to me. I'm not necessarily interested in which is the better between the two, Rather, how the composition informs these images. The port side photo seems to putter towards the ocean at a small rate of knots, while the starboard side photo feels anchored and immovable. I'll let you guys in the comments section tell me which one you like more. Aside from the shipyard, it's our duty to understand the ecology of this place. Despite the massive piers and concrete ground, there's quite a few birds here, and even this little guy. And no, I didn't get a photo of the dolphin. And my missus will not let me live it down. It's safe to say that Tween and I used the shipyard, the ships, Charleston, and that great weather in Charleston as inspiration for our design. It's sunny and warm year round, and it's teeming with life, but it's also an industrial work zone. That's a hell of a combination. This image is from the Class W. I took two separate images and stitched them together to make this panoramic photo. I have a really hard time shooting color, but when it works, I took quite a lot of portraits while we were there, which is pretty unusual for me. These are not really anything to write home about, but they are some great people.
my focus when I take any landscape photo is to inform the viewer like very subtly of the location. And this photo is super subtle, but if you look very carefully, you can see Charleston's famous bridge in the background. The idea here is even if I'm not there, someone will know where the photo was taken. So in a way, the landscape becomes its own landmark. We ended the day speaking about our designs and how they would collaboratively fit into the Coast Guard's new master plan, which we were also taking a stab at. Here's a cameo of ours. As always, the sponsor for today's video is vincentchristopher.com. All these new photos have been uploaded, uh, and of course, some from the website itself. So feel free to buy a print, check it out. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And if you wanna tell me anything, or if you feel like I'm excluding some information, let me know. And don't hesitate to share this with others. These videos are really designed to be watched after like a long, hard day at work, or just a way to relax. So feel free to definitely share it with those that you care about. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you all greatly. Links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my LinkedIn. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere here. Thanks again, you guys. Till next we meet.